before you buy Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed, let's talk about this game and discuss exactly everything that it entails, and then you can decide for yourself whether or not this is a game that you might be interested in. Now, the first thing we got to talk about is the story, and you should know if you're getting into this game that the game does have a story, but it's very, very short, and it takes place between games when you return to the firehouse. The firehouse essentially is your central hub, your lobby that you will return to when you are not in the middle of a match. Uh, if you're looking for a single-player experience, uh, this game does allow you to play with bots only. I don't know how far that will really take you in terms of, you know, having fun, because after a while, the bots kind of play all the same, I, and the experience will be the same every time you play it. Um, I will say the bots in this game are actually pretty decent, um, which is really, really cool because a lot of these asymmetrical games I wish would have bots, and these bots aren't the worst bots I've ever seen. They actually do uh, fight back if it's a ghost, and then the uh, fellow teammates, your fellow busters, actually do lay down traps and help you tether the ghost and, and help you find rifts and all those sorts of things. So they actually do um, participate in the objective pretty well. But like I said, the game is meant to be experienced in multiplayer, so if you're looking for a single-player experience, I would recommend that you look elsewhere. The game has a lot of variety with five different and distinct maps, as you can see here. There's the Whitestone Museum, Hudson Canyon Lodge, Rock Island Prison, Clock Tower Brewery and Pub, and the RMS Artemisia. Uh, all of these are quite a bit different from each other, and I think that they all kind of have their own unique quirks that make them a little favored towards the ghost or a little favored towards the busters. Uh, and it's, it's, it's great. It's a lot of variety. And then uh, as far as ghosts go, you'll see here that there's quite a few ghosts to play around with. There's five in total as in terms of ghost types. And then with each of those ghosts, you have different variations that all have different unique abilities and uh, things like that. You look, there's four different variations there, three different variations here, three different variations here. So a ton of stuff to play around with as far as ghosts are concerned. And then um, as far as the busters go, they have a ton of variety when it comes to their attachments. It's probably going to take you a while to actually unlock all of them. And I should also mention that there is a lengthy tutorial for both the Ghostbuster side and the Ghost side, the Ghost tutorial you don't unlock right away. They actually have you play a few games first before they uh, give you that Ghost tutorial. But if you look at this, you can see there's a lot of different attachments you can put on each thing in your arsenal, whether it's your Particle Thrower, Proton Pack, PKE Meter, or Ghost Trap, and then you have four different gadgets. But not only do you have a bunch of different slots for attachments, then there's tons of attachments for those slots which is pretty crazy so tons of customization here in terms of your actual gear and then also the really neat thing is that you get to create your own buster as well you get to uh actually design the way that they look and then their outfit on top of that so that's really cool and the other thing that i really like about this too is the side hustles it gives you something to work towards which is always really important. It's something that, you know, if you haven't played it, Evil Dead doesn't have something like this. Um, it's something that I think is really important in ASIMs like this is to have some side missions that you can work towards. And it's a really nice thing to have because it always makes you feel like even once you've unlocked everything, you still have something to work towards so it doesn't feel like you're just spinning your wheels. Each game consists of four busters, hunting down one ghost and they are attempting to catch this ghost player in a ghost trap the ghost has three rifts that act as respawn points should the ghost get caught and the ghost goal is to haunt objects and scare civilians until they completely haunt the building at which point a last stand mechanic commences where the busters have one last chance to capture the ghost the amount of time the busters have to capture the ghost at this stage depends on how many rifts the ghost had left at the time this stage started. The more rifts that were left, the less time the busters have to capture the ghost. I, I'm not really sure that I can say much in regards to the balance of the game right now. I will mention one thing, though, is that on the ghost side of things, you actually have to spam pressing a button to 
escape being tethered by a Ghostbuster and also to escape being captured in a trap. This is a really terrible mechanic. I mean, I, I try not to like give a subjective opinion in a video like this, but I think this is just objectively bad. I can't believe that this is in the game. Uh, because if you're a ghost player, it's really bad because you ju it just sucks to have to tap a button super fast like that or a key. It's going to hurt your wrist. It's going to hurt your finger. Like, it it's going to break controllers. It's not a great mechanic if you're on the ghost side. And then also, if you're on the buster side, it's really, really bad because I have already run into players who are using macros. So they're essentially using some sort of program or maybe a modded controller that allows them to rapidly press buttons in a way that is normally humanly impossible and because of that i have played games against certain ghosts where you literally cannot capture them because they can tap the button so quickly that every time you get them tethered they instantly break free and even if you are able to slide the trap underneath them uh they can instantly break out of that too so that's a really poor mechanic at least at the time of the making of this video hopefully that gets changed um, because it's really, really bad right now. And also, escaping from the trap doesn't make a ton of sense because there's no counterplay to it. Um, even if they fixed the ability to use some sort of macro to get out of your tether, you can at least sort of counter it as a buster because you can pull on the tether in the opposite direction to keep them tethered. There is no counterplay to the trap because once the trap is out, it's just completely on the ghost and their ability to tap a button as fast as they can. So even if they were to fix that, I don't really like that mechanic. Hopefully they figure out a way to change all that and make it better in the future. One thing I do want to say about this game that I think is really excellent, and you can decide for yourself whether or not you like it, is the bot system and the way that lobbies work. Um, I really like the fact that games are so rapid as soon as one match ends you're in the next one in less than 30 seconds it keeps all the same people together unless someone leaves in which case a bot takes over which is awesome i think that's something every asymmetrical game should have is the ability for a bot to take over rather than just leaving you with one less teammate or canceling the match i love having a temporary bot take over and then a human player can actually come in and take over that bot's spot midway through the match which is really cool i really like that a lot and you can just rapid fire get through a bunch of games all at once which is excellent uh one thing i will warn you about though is that if you are only interested in playing the ghost you cannot guarantee playing the ghost so if you queue up to play ghost it's not a guaranteed thing it will make it a preference type system similar to friday the 13th the game if you ever played that or you could just prefer Jason, but it didn't guarantee you getting it. So if you're in the same lobby with people who also prefer the ghost or queued up to play the ghost, then you might lose out on it and not get it over them. So that's something to keep in mind. It is not guaranteed that you will only play the ghost if that's all you're interested in. So something to be warned about if you are a ghost only player. Uh, another thing I also want to mention, too, is that ghost gameplay in general is a lot different from what you see in other asymmetrical games. This is probably the first asymmetrical game I've seen where the power roll is not the aggressor. Uh, the Ghostbusters themselves are actually the aggressors here. Your job as the ghost is not to really attack the busters. You can do it as a defensive measure, but for the most part, you just want to go around haunting the building and run away from the Ghostbusters. So it's kind of similar. The closest thing we've seen in, in the asymmetrical genre up to this point is like uh, Evolve. Uh, when you were stage one or stage two, typically you'd want to run away, hide, feed on, on fauna and stuff. And then once you were stage three, attack the hunters. In this game, there is no stage three. In this game, you're trying to run away at all times, basically and only using your attacks and such on the busters as a defensive measure so you can escape. So that's something that's important to mention because that's way different from other asymmetrical games, and I feel like there's a lot of people who play the power role in these games who like playing the power role because you get to be aggressive and attack the group role. That is not the case in this game, so be warned before you buy this game. So... Is this game worth it? Well, 
in my opinion, it depends. Uh, this is a much more casual experience than other asymmetrical games. It's not nearly as sweaty as Dead by Daylight. It's not nearly as sweaty as Evil Dead the game. It's kind of meant to be a more relaxed experience. That's not to say that you can't play it in a really sweaty way. You can play any game in a really sweaty way. It just seems like this game isn't really designed or balanced around that. Um, I, I would say that if you're looking for something a little more relaxed to hold you over until the next big asymmetrical game, this is a really fun game to play. I don't know that it's going to be on a, a great game to play long term uh, just because the unlocks at the moment, there is a lot of variety, but it seems like right now it kind of seems like there are things that are just objectively better than others and there's not a ton of customization in terms of your play style every match is pretty much going to play the same way uh whereas you know let's say you're playing a game like dead by daylight you could have perks that make it to where you can play stealthy you can have perks that make it to where you can be a gen jockey you can have perks to where you can be a healer. You can have perks to where you can run the killer for a really long time. There's really not much like that in this game. For the most part, you're going to be playing the same way every match. So I don't know how great this game is long term, but it is fun. And I do think it's a fun experience that's worth playing if it's in your budget. Uh, but I'm not sure that it's something for the typical like sweaty player that you might see in an asymmetrical game maybe wait for the next thing to come along if you take your gaming in a sim a sims that seriously but otherwise um pretty fun and probably worth your time if you can afford it but hey thanks for watching my video as always i really appreciate it hope you like the ghostbusters content i'll reiterate this in case anyone makes it to this <laughs> the, the the end of this video Yes, I will continue to make Evil Dead the game content. I'm just kind of waiting for more stuff to get announced for that game before I make new content on it. And right now I'm kind of deep into Ghostbusters. So I haven't been spending as much time playing Evil Dead the game. So uh, once again, thank you all for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you like the video, please like it, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed. And I will see you all in the next video.